Hi, you're watching Adorama TV, and I'm Doug McKinley. This morning, we're at the busy Stables Market in Camden Town. What we're trying to achieve today is some great ad hoc street portraiture. Nothing set up, nothing too traditional. Just relying on the goodwill and the good graces of the great British public. Adorama TV presents Stay Focused with Doug McKinley. So before we get started, let's talk about lenses. Now the 85mm in all its forms, the 1.2, the 1.4 and the 1.8 is said to be the best portrait lens. I totally agree, it's a great lens. But other lenses can produce just as nice portraits. For instance, for wide environmental pictures where we're showing our subject with something in the background, I prefer the 24mm prime lens, the 1.4. It's a great lens, nice and sharp. Next, I really, really like the 50mm lens. I use this all the time. It's a 1.4, gives us great variety in, in aperture. Um, the only little slight problem with it is it will distort a little bit when you get too close to your subject. And finally, the 70 to 200 millimeter zoom lens. It's a big lens, heavy, but it does the job. It gives you nice, dense pictures, and at 2.8, it still gives us a nice background blur. So let's get started. We'll find some open shade and get shooting. So our goal today is to get some really great alfresco portraits. And that means checking the light to make sure we can get enough shutter speed to avoid camera shake. Next, I would set my meter at spot meter to get a truer reading. And finally, I would shoot in either manual or aperture priority so we get some fantastic control over our depth of field. Hi, my name's Doug and I'm doing some street pictures. And I was wondering if you'd like to be to participate in our street photography session. Yeah. Great, excellent. What's your name? Mario. Mario. Okay, so what I'm gonna be using is a 1.4 lens, a 50 millimeter 1.4 lens. Now we know with, uh, with a wide aperture we're gonna lose a lot of depth of field. So we gotta be really, really accurate on our focus. Also, you need to connect with your subject. So Mario, I'm going to get you to take a few steps back against that wall back oh, there. Right. And just fine. turn, yep, turn me down. Turn, turn your body a little bit. Not, not, you don't you know, relax a little bit there. Yeah, hang on, that's it. There you go. That's it. I'm going to be looking at me. That's it. Perfect. Perfect. And looking a little more at me. Okay, we're getting there. Maybe I'll do one more if you can just duck down okay. a little more, so I can get over top of you. There you go. Perfect. So just okay, I can lean against the wall, yeah. like kind of relaxed. You know, like chilled out kind of thing. There you go. Turn your body a little more to me. There you go. Just lean right against it. Pretend you got a pint in your hand. There you go. Looking at me. It's fantastic. Okay, now this is a really good example of how not to get street portraiture. All the heads are lined up and it looks like a school photograph. So we want to try and avoid this look as much as possible. What I'd rather do is uh, rearrange your bodies a little bit. So, Laura, I'm going to get you to sort of get a little closer and then right between the boys there and then turn to me a little bit and duck down a little bit. And you guys can get in nice and tight. There you go. We also have to think about our depth here with more than two people. We need a little more depth of field, so shutting the aperture down a little bit. Perfect. Thanks very much, guys. Don't forget to check out Adorama's latest contest where you could win some amazing prizes. In the studio, we've got more control and more time over our images. Not so in the street. We've got limited time because our subjects are volunteers. But that doesn't mean that we have to give up on good composition. So let's go through a few of the rules we should look at. First, amputation. Try not to crop your subjects off at the wrists, elbows, or knees. It just looks like someone's lost a limb. Also, try to avoid shooting from below. No one wants to see the inside of a nose. An elevated position gives a much more aesthetically pleasing image. Watch for slouching or bending over. Keep them nice and tight and keep their shoulders back. And chins, no one wants to see a double chin, so slightly elevate the chin a little bit. And when you're shooting group shots, try not to keep all the heads at the same level. It just looks like a school shot or a mug shot. And if you get, get in nice and tight, just turn your body a little bit like that. Now what I'm gonna do first here is I'm gonna do a what not to shot. I'm gonna shoot up the noses, sorry girls. If you're looking at me, looking down at me, there you go. Now, that's the kind of image we don't really want to see in portraiture. We want to see a nice, tighter shot. Now, the other problem with, with portrait pictures is people sometimes get a double chin. So you want your chin up a little bit. That's it, a little bit there. There, your chin up just a slightly, just slightly. There you go. That's it. Nice smiles. Fantastic. That's really great. Thank you very much. The next thing we have to think about is hands. Nature's given us these great tools. But sometimes when you start taking pictures of people, 
they suddenly have like lumps of clay on the ends of their arms. So we've got to get them moving. So use things to, to get people to relax. Use a hat, a book, whatever's, whatever's handy, just to get them to relax and keep talking to your subjects. Take your hand, your, right, your left hand, and just bring it across your forehead, and then just right to your cheek like this. There you go. Now, the key here is to keep your fingers a little bit bent and not together. That's perfect. Exactly what I want to see. That's great. Thank you very much. Earlier we were talking about shooting from a low angle as an unflattering composition. Ideally what we want to do is shoot from a little bit of an elevated position. So I've got Orlando here to help us out. He's going to sit on my bench and I'm going to be over top of him getting that, getting that shot that I'm looking for. So Orlando, I'm going to get you to take your right foot, right leg, sorry, cross it over and then turn your whole body toward the wall. Get your left leg scooch right into the, into the, uh, into the bench. That's it. Uh, left hand on top of your right hand, like that, and looking, looking at me. Looking directly into the camera, right into the lens. Now, I want to get a nice blurred background here, so I'm going to go down to an aperture of about f2. My shutter speed's going to be around at, at, 200, at ISO 200, about, about 1 6 40 of a second. That's it. Smile! Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Thanks for joining us here on Adorama TV. And don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV, where you can see more great videos. You can like, comment, or share this video. And don't forget to visit the Adorama Learning Center for more great tips and tricks. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.